we are going to go ahead and take this USB portion off of this Toyota Highlander. A couple tools you're going to probably need is going to be a couple trim tools. Those are useful. Um, screwdriver, and I usually like to have my 10 millimeter ratchet just so that we can go ahead and remove that battery um, or at least take off the leads. That way we don't have any issues um, when we're putting it together or taking it apart. All right, so we're gonna go to the back, open it up. And go ahead and we're gonna remove this black lead. Okay. And give it a wiggle and move it to the side. We're disconnecting the black lead. Okay, after that, let's go back to the inside of the car. And let's see. So first we go ahead and, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and pull this up from the console. You can go ahead and open it if you want. And we're gonna go ahead just pulling from the back and pushing up, upward force. Those go ahead and disconnect. After that, we're gonna go ahead and pull, pull this portion off right here. So you can, if you want to, go ahead and push those tabs out from the back over here, like that, one. And just give it a good wiggle. That part pulls out. All right, next after that, let's go ahead and take the shifter off. Go ahead, pull down, comes down, and Let's go ahead, we're gonna pull this head off. If we look very closely, we can go ahead and see that there is kind of a metal pin. Go ahead, pull to the left, and lift up. And the shifter knob comes off. Okay, so that was probably part of the easy part. Gonna go ahead, take our tool, and let's see. I try and get into the back here. You could probably try and use your hands, but it will be difficult. So I'm gonna wiggle this in. If I can. Let's see. Got a little bit under and pull up. Okay. After that's done, we're gonna go ahead and lift forward and just pull this portion off and put it to the side. You don't really have to disconnect any of these wires right over here for this takedown, but if you were to go down a little bit further, you could go ahead and disconnect them. Next after that, let's go ahead and we're gonna go and pull off some of this trim. So you could just get your hands in there, but you could also use a tool. Okay. Go ahead and make sure that all these red tabs come out and we're gonna put that to the side. After that, I recommend for this portion, grab a screwdriver and let's see. We're gonna go ahead and take off this screw. Put that to the side somewhere safe so you don't lose it. Okie dokie. So after that, go ahead and pull off this black layer. You may not necessarily have to pull off this black layer um, or this black piece of trim, but I do like to do that because it makes it easier to pull out the little console portion right here. So basically we're just disconnecting all of these red tabs. Okay, and then after that, pull on out. You'll notice that there is um, a little tab right here that slots in, okay. After that, go ahead, we're gonna grab, just give it a nice tug.
Okay, there we go. And it should come out. What you will wanna be careful of though, is that there are some wires back here. So you will have to go ahead and disconnect those. So however you see fit doing that, go ahead and just disconnect them. There will be a couple tabs on the back, but other than that, it is a pretty simple fix uh, to change this out. And to put it back all together, only takes, I'd say a couple seconds, a couple minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. slots in perfect after that we take our black piece go ahead slot it in and we're gonna go ahead snap all those tabs back in give it a nice push grab your screw and we're gonna go put that back in too Make sure it's snug. Grab your outer trim, line it up, and snap into place. Okay. Next up, and just put this over on top. You might find it hard to get in. Make sure that you are lining up the little shifter stick with this portion right here with the leather. Sometimes it will get stuck on the leather. Let's see. Sometimes you just need to bring it back out and angle it correctly. Push in, push down. Shifter goes on, just press down, it's locked on, pull up, snap into place, grab this outer trim portion, snap into place. After that, we're gonna go ahead, line up this hole right here with this tab over here, put it in and push down. Next after that, go ahead, tab there, tab here, and let's see, push down. All right, lastly, let's go ahead and put that battery back on. All right, go ahead, put the black lead on, lights go on. Tighten it. And then after that, go ahead and tighten this piece. Snap these in the back into place. Closed. And one thing you will notice is that you have to close the door manually. Thank you.